Hey guys, how you going? It's Laz here with Zephix Education, and today I'm going to show you how I would do a outro for your videos in Cinema 4D. Now, I like to use Cinema 4D because I'm just um, a little bit more familiar with the program. And obviously, here you go, this is what we're going to make right here. Okay, so we're going to make that. So let's get started. So first of all, delete all that. <coughs> now, obviously, the, the Z in the middle I made earlier, so, you know, I don't want to show you how to to do it, it might take a bit too long. So anyways, what we're going to start off with first of all is you want to select your output, make sure it is 1280 by 720 or if you want you can do 1290 by 1080 uh, whatever you whatever you prefer or whatever it is, 1980, I don't know what it is. I only use 1280 by 720 obviously. Alright, first things first, what you want to do is click on this little light button here, hold it down and select your background. Now the moving, I like to put a lot of moving stuff in mine, you can opt to do the background with a movie if you like, uh, you can add that just by simply double clicking, starting material, text, uh, texture, load image, go to your video and put it on, easy as that, okay. Uh, we're not going to do that today, we're going to be using this one up here which is your contents browser, okay. Uh, now I'll click this a few times before it does take a little while to load up So I'm just going to get my textures in that I'm using which is the blue one for the background Pop him on there. I'll show you what that does. It's a very slow moving one like that Okay, and then you've got your That's your uh, yellow one, which is like a flame or whatever you want to call it All right, so now we've got that background. Let's quickly render him out There you go. So that's what it looks like. Okay, so it's slowly moving. It's nothing major Anyways, let's get on to it. So, first things first, cube. And what we want to do is make sure it's flat, because otherwise it won't work too well. Extend him out a little bit. Okay, make sure you've got it flat down like that, otherwise it's not going to work too well, is it? Alright, now you've got that. You can hold down Control or Command if you're on a Mac, and C, then Control or Command V, and that will copy and paste the same object there. Bring them across. That's your two screens, pretty much there. Just make sure they're flat on. Could probably get away with making them a little bit bigger. But anyway, so <coughs> that's what we've got there now. All right. Next thing is I want to add the textures on that. So start a new material by double clicking or right click in the panel if it's going to work, or just go file new material. Whatever you want to do, however you do it. This is just how I do it. Load image. Where are we? We're using this one here. Now you do not want to create a copy of the document. Okay, so click no, drop and drag him. Now you can also another way is hold down Control or Command and drag it down. Also works. So there we go. We've got our two boxes. Okay, one's obviously lighter than the other one. Uh, simple fact of the where the light is. I've got a light on here somewhere. I think. Don't know why. It's just there. <laughs> Alright, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to merge my object that I made earlier, which is my Zephix TV logo. The quick one that I did up for this purpose of this tutorial. Alright, now a little trick I learnt is to highlight all these. If you hold down your left alt button and click G, that will turn them all into a null object, which will then be able to move them. And I've missed him, put him in there. Beauty. And now we can move that as one solid... Oh, you dog. Sorry guys, we're well, missing missing that torus. There we go. All right, now we click it, and now we can move it as a solid object. So we're going to stick him in there like that. Okay, so we've got that. I'm going to delete. Uh, which one was it? I think it's this one. Delete that. I'm going to drag him on there. Now with this color too, you may need to change it to frontal. Anything with that needs to be changed to frontal just comes up a lot better. And with the chrome. <clears throat> we got there. I'm just going to lighten that up a heap more so it's got a bit more depth than that. A bit more. Might lower that a little bit. Uh, you can also, with your torus, you can actually put a. Where are we? Oh, I can't do it on this one. Forget I said anything. I didn't say anything. Don't worry about it. Anyway, so there we go. We've got the, the start of the whole, you know, outro starting to look pretty. Smicky Mouse. Alright, so now what we want to do is get the rings to move. So pretty much to do that, if you open up this, get your Taurus, because you want to use a Taurus 1 and Taurus 2, make sure it is at 0. Click down this automatic key button here, 
drag it forward, go to 160, bang. We're going to select one of the torus, torus, whatever you want to call it, and we're going to rotate it. Okay, so one, two, three, and just make sure it's nice and flat, which it's not. Oh, and that's the other thing I got to do. I got to fix up the. Uh, <laughs> got to fix up the Z. I muffed it up when I was doing it. All right, so go back. So there we go. Now you want to click your other torus and do the same thing. Go to 160, and you want to spin him. So one, two, three. That's all we have to do. Move him back a little bit. Make sure he lines up nice. Okay, uncheck that, and we'll quickly fix this text up. Okay, that's better. But yet I thought. Drag him back in a little bit. All right. So there we go, there's the basic little setup we've done there. So these boxes here are obviously for your videos to uh, go into. So let's press play and we'll see what we've got so far. And there you go. So if we pause that there, that's what it's going to look like. So that's going to, you saw it at the beginning, that's going to spin around and so, so forth, so on, whatever. Now your text, basically all you need to do is just go... MoGraph, you can text or you can add your text one, however you want to do it, it's up to you, this is how I do it, it's just nice and easy. And try and get this, it's pretty much spot on, beautiful. Alright, so I'm going to drag him up, click on the text, minimise that, we don't need that anymore. And this is, now, I've got cat locks on, no I don't, alright I'm going to chuck cat locks on. Okay, thank you for watching. Sorry guys, I've got my microphone right next to me and it's uh, pretty close. Just going to go my favourite, Transformers. That'll do, okay. Now you'll notice it's all on a bit of angle, so I'm obviously not flush or straight at the camera. As you can see, it's all on a bit of a lean, so I'm going to have to mess around with that for a little bit and get it. Mickey Mouse. Okay, now what I'm going to do, it's a little bit close there, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use the horizontal spacing, spread it out a little bit, and that's a bit more, that's a bit better, isn't it? Okay, bring him across. Yep, 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 beautiful. Alright, so to start one, we're going to put this one as blue. So, obviously, I'm assuming you guys know how to do your colours and everything like that. If not, um, let me know and I can do up a another tutorial a bit more in depth for you but this is just it's a quick one it's just basic stuff I mean you could you could probably have done it yourself anyways but I thought you know you never know might someone may not know anyways now with this I want the selection around so your capping I want that to be the white and the blue is the text so what you want to do down here in your selection is capital R and then one and that is only going to put that white in the in the caps so when we render this out you'll notice there'll be a white line around the text which is the caps as you can see there done easy as pie all right so we want that same text again so we're going to do is control copy control v we drag him down this is going to be our subscribe rate and comment uh, basically all i'm going to do is delete the blue because i'm going to do that as yellow and i'm just going to quickly smash that one in there it's going to let me highlight it, rate, comment, subscribe, beautiful, bring it down in size a little bit, there we go, and that one, same deal, we're going to do him, do it yellow, bit of reflection, oh no, let's just leave it like that actually, and make sure your little white one's over there, okay, so we render that out, <coughs> excuse me guys. And that's pretty much what we've got. So in the background, the background itself, the bluey black, is actually going to be moving. The Z color is actually going to be moving as well. And then obviously on these squares, you're going to have your videos. Um, what I said, like I said, guys, um, I will leave this in the description. I'll link to it. And you can actually download this exact one if you want it. You can use it. Feel free. Um, use it on your own channel. Do whatever you want. You're more than welcome. All right, so I'll see you in a sec, guys. I'll bring it up and I'll um, render this out and I'll see you in Sony Vegas to show you how to actually put the videos on there. Okay, cheers. All right, guys, we're back. And let's go. We're in Sony Vegas. 
Okay, import media. Uh, let's just quickly uh, just import. Oh, I've already got them. Dumbass. Okay, I've already got everything in there, so <laughs> let's just get into it. All right, so here we have our clip. Drag it in, right click properties, disable resample. If you don't disable it, your video may come up quite blurry. I'll quickly show you what we've actually got here. So this is it, finished. If you notice the text is moving, or the color in the text is moving and the background's moving as well. Now like I said, there's nothing major about this. It's just a nice, quick, easy one to show you so that you can just, you know, just see how to do it or how you can possibly do it. There are definitely other ways. Most people use Photoshop, but I just like to have moving stuff in mind, so that's why I use Cinema 4D. Anyways, let's get into it. So we want to bring down our project media, drop and drag our video down. Now, probably best to mute your audio on that one. Bring it across. Alright, now you want it the same size as your clip here. So drag him across, sweet as. Alright, now what I've done, I've, I've actually got them under preset. So, everything I've got is preset. So all you need to do is go like this. Okay, so you want it to fit in that little corner. So what you want to do is expand your work area about the size of the clip you want and then you just got to move it so that it fits in that square oh unless you muff it up like I did my bad okay let's just make sure it's not hanging out the bottom too much which it is so if you want to have that little bit of a gap so you can see a bit of the thing so there we go that's all you really have to do then what you want to do so you don't have to keep doing it all the time, just change it and go left hand side. Okay, that's all you have to do. Save it, and it's saved. So next time you come in, you can go down here, left hand side. See, so these are mine here, right box, left box, picture in picture for when I do my um, live feeds and stuff like that. Okay, so you just save it. It makes it a hell of a lot easier for you to do it. Um, now, this is coming up to 12 minutes here, so I'll still get this one done as well show you this one again all right so we got that let's chuck this one in let's minimize him down bit of uh, UFC yeah come on same deal mute it now once you've done all this and you've muted it and all, all that kind of stuff guys what I did I don't know if you guys saw mine uh, if you did it actually had me talking in it do that talk over the top of it and say look thanks very much for watching i hope you enjoyed my video here's some other ones you might like to look at or um if you've got time check them out just say stuff like that okay okay i think that's about it i'll do anyways just a quick rough idea so there you go that's basically all you got so when you play it you've got your videos playing on either side and then all you have to do is go and in, uh, into your annotations in your menus link them up your sweet is good and you're good to go. Anyways, guys, I hope this helped. Uh, if you have any questions, message me or leave a comment below. If you'd like to see some more tutorials on this kind of stuff and uh, maybe a little bit of Cinema 4D editing and intro making, whatever you want, leave it in the comments below and we'll we'll definitely get some of that up for you. So, guys, don't forget to go and check out Zephix Main, uh, Zephix Fame, and you're obviously on Zephix Education. And if you've got time, just jump over and check out my channel, It's Laz. Cheers, guys. We'll catch you next time.